What is up guys? Welcome to iDevice Central channel. I'm Joe Snow. Today I'm going to show you in this quick video how you can uh, extract the ASR application from the RAM disk of the uh, iOS 10, any iOS 10 build. And the ASR is located in the RAM disk, so we're also going to decrypt it. And I'm going to also show you how you can decrypt it. Well, let's see. We need an IPSW of the iOS 10. This happens to be the iOS 10.0.1. IPSW because I have it downloaded right here for the iPhone 5s, but you can use any IPSW for any device running iOS 10 and You need to make it a zip file like I did by changing the uh, extension right here from IPSW to zip Then you double click it and it will extract it into a folder like this In the folder I'm going to make it this way you have a couple of files the most important are two RAM disks and a uh, root file system uh, all three are DMG files. So this one that is 2.19 gigabits is already decrypted. You don't need to do anything in, or in order to be able to mount it. As you can see, if I double click it, it simply gets mounted right here on the, um, on the computer. But I don't need this one. ASR application is not located here. It is located into one of the RAM disks. Well, it is in both of them, but it's not used uh, from the both of them at a, uh, a single time. So we need to get one of them and to mount it, but we can't mount it. As you can see, it's encrypted. Encrypted in a uh, format that doesn't require keys, but still encrypted. So image not recognized. How you can fix that? Well, you can, thanks to Xerab, who released the uh, EMG4 tool, you can now do that kind of the same as you do with the kernel. Let me show you. You go in terminal, and you need, you need to simply call this app. You can get the uh, IMG tool from uh, GitHub and it comes this way. Anyways, a couple of this, well, these files are not from default. And you can uh, make it yourself if you are completely paranoid and you don't want to open applications from me. But if you don't have any problems with opening applications downloaded from the internet, you can download the build I already compiled for you. Trust me, it's harder to compile that thing than you expect. So I'm going to simply grab the app. You can see if I hit it in its head, it starts. So you need to press, uh, sorry, you need to uh, insert the uh, image argument and take the uh, RAM disk. Now you need to copy the handle right here for the path and paste it right here. Make sure you leave this little space right here, yeah? And I'm going to name it new rd.dmg. It will detect automatically that it's a RAM disk, as you can see from the air disk, and it already decrypted the file. You can close it, close this thing as well. And if you double click the new RAM disk, you will be able to mount it with no errors. And now getting the ASR application is very easy. You simply need to go to USR, which is right here to S bin or system binaries and you get ASR from here. Now, a quick note for our Windows users. There we go. Uh, the uh, This thing can be done on Windows and you can download the build for the uh, IMG4 tool for Windows in the description. The command is the same. You call the application in uh, CMD, then you pass dash image and of course the paths of the file and you get to do it. But I said extraction is a little bit different. We're going to get into it in a couple of um, videos, probably in the next video, because I'm going to create a couple of series for the um, for the Windows. Now, if you want to open it in Assembler, because there are a couple of people on this channel that like to disassemble things, <laughs> and they are interested in um, reverse engineering. So if you want, if you're one of them and you want to disassemble it, you can quickly open it in a Hopper by going here, selecting ASR, where the hell it is. Uh, well, let me see. I don't seem to be able to find it. Well, again, read executable to disassemble, desktop, and... And I found it. Anyways, it's a Mac O architecture 64, so that you know it is the correct file. You click OK, and the uh, hopper should start doing its trick. And you can see the graph of the uh, app content, code, procedures, data, strings, and undefined. And you can go through the code. 
as you can see it already finished so you can start going through the code you can already see the cross references right here and you can see part of the labels part of the strings you have so on so disassembling it is not a hard part after you get it the uh, most important part is that until uh, a couple of days ago we weren't able to get it from the file now thanks to this tool img4 tool created by xerob you can so this is it guys this is how you uh, access the ram disk on ios 10 for all devices i'm going to also have this tutorial on windows soon for those who are on windows but, but as i said the procedure is kind of the same Thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe and stay updated, hit the like button if you like this video and tell me in the comment section down below if you have any questions. Peace out!